Hey everybody, Matt Jackson here at Local Motors. We're here again with another cruiser update. Recently we've been putting a lot of work into both starting the initial prototype in the construction um, and updating the model as we go and continuing to develop the uh, overall bicycle design. So one of the most exciting things, at least to me, is that we got this uh, Honda engine in. So previously with the uh, powertrain mule we've been using the uh, uh, Chinese knockoff of this engine and I, I know we covered this in the last update but we've taken the Chinese carburetor and put it on here now this is actually um, better set up for throttle uh, for a twist throttle whereas uh, with the carburetor that comes with the Honda motor it's single speed operation for a generator with a, it has a big governor lever on it this one has a nice smooth operation for uh, twist throttle so we also went ahead and threw on the next uh, transmission we're going to test out this is the Skyhawk um, stage three gearbox that they make, and it's uh, all gears, so there's no belts involved, and it's actually uh, a much nicer clutch design in here that's um, a much more robust. It's it's a machined part versus the other one, which is a stamped piece of metal. So this should hold up a little bit better. It's actually a, a wet clutch, so this gets filled up part way with oil. So hopefully this will be. Uh, a little bit smoother transmission, should last a lot longer, and it's a much smaller package, so it's much more likely to fit within the engine cover that's in the design of the bike. Moving right along, we also have just about completed the first prototype of the Springer front end. This is the uh, initial design, very closely inspired by the uh, drawings that Giannis put up. Um, you can probably see in the video this top piece, what this is called the, uh, the top clamp on this triple tree here. Um, we found that you need to have pinch clamps to clamp on to the steer tube and then both of the forks. Um, I had previously been thinking that the headset would have enough um, clamping force to force all this together, but it really doesn't. It's really only meant to just seat your bearings. And so we've been just welding on bits that we could make a pinch clamp for this. Um, so obviously that's not going to look great for production. It's not really um, cost effective to go and be welding on bits to brand new parts. So we've moved on and I've been working on this. This is the new design. So this will be uh, one part. This just came off the water jet five minutes ago and we'll be able to drill and tap holes in each of these pieces to uh, make a clamp directly in here and this is ac actually less than half the weight of the original design and uh, should be plenty strong enough because it's actually half inch steel but uh, that's where we're at right now and uh, Galen's been hard at work well not only building this fork but putting together the tubing roller that we got and uh, getting that ready to bend up the frame once we get all the dies and parts in for it next week so so to follow along on this project or to give any feedback and make comments, uh, please go to forge.locomotors.com and look for the project Aerial Cruiser Prototyping and Development.